Good afternoon. If you're finding me for the first time, my name is James Collects. I resell on eBay so I can afford to buy nerdy stuff. So without further ado, it's currently Sunday afternoon. I've got some orders to pick, to pack and everything else in between. So let's go around and see what has sold. First up, we have this lovely Ultra Pro mat, which sold for $12.99 plus shipping 49.99 plus signed for shipping for these power rangers zeo zeo thingies unfortunately today i'm nowhere near as organized as i normally am 474 plus shipping for this wolverine funko pop 28 pounds 49 in b1 for this booster box right here no idea what it cost me part of a bundle i hope it didn't cost me 32 pounds otherwise um that's just bad business. In F2, there should be an Iron Man figure, which that's not an Iron Man. £9.49 plus shipping. In A3, there should be a Triple H. Is that Triple H? That's Triple H, sold for £3.99 plus shipping. Uh, this is gonna be fun, because I don't think this drawer wants to open still. But in here, there is a John Cena Rise Above Hate t-shirt which has sold for 19 99 but there's that much crap on top of it i can't do it one-handed but we got there in the end next up it's this lot which is all drafted ready to go live once they are in the correct drawer Second thoughts, I think I'll leave that. I might regret it. So today's haul is is very slim indeed to be honest all of all other dms paid 20 pound a pair i reckon i can get 35 to 40 plus shipping industrial ones they're not worth as much they've not got the iconic stitching and things like that so they're a little bit harder to shift i mean obviously you've got some stitching around it but it's it's not as prominent as it is on some of the other boots and shoes but 20 pound if i can make 30 40 it's just little and often <sighs> we'll get there starting off with some lovely wolverine boots which sold for 119 pounds including next day delivery and most of you are probably well aware the editing is completely different to how it used to be because i've got someone who actually knows what they're doing so um give yourself a plug hello all of james's lovely subscribers i am frankie and if you could drop my instagram a follow here at frankie harry's also check out my youtube channel here frankie harry Genuinely made my life so much easier. A massive thank you, Frankie. Farmer's Field wooden plate sold for $19.99 plus shipping, going via the GSB to Denmark. In F2, there should be a projectile shooting Power Ranger Megazord, which sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And in C3, 
some Adidas's which sold for 17 pounds plus shipping. So a little while ago, I don't know if you remember, there was a video that I posted about um, car booting, believe it or not. And uh, there was a couple of phones and I bought an iPod as well. Well, the phones were locked, like hard locked. Had to get them sent to a repair shop. Got them both done, cost me 70 pounds. So I'm now 120 pounds in. Which was not ideal, but it's not the end of the world. They're clear, they're good to be sold. So I've done the, the natural thing, and I'm gonna celebrate for the KFC. You to get it on your own, Exco deliver to you. Still not filled up. And that, we've been there for what, six months? It's just empty spaces everywhere. Donatopia. Dinosaurs. And then toy section is still dead. Cat's nice. Board games look holes everywhere. There's no men's shoes. What is going on with this place? That's quite nice. PG field. I'll have a look at that one in a minute. After I've finished throwing everything on the floor. Let's see what it's actually made out of. It's got the acrylic, I think. Yeah. Acrylic. Right, we've got some stuff to grab. Where? Oh, there they are. Lionel Messi boots, 19.99 plus shipping. Although I've got a feeling this may come back to haunt me. I'll go through that in a minute. And then here, FIFA 13 on a PS3, sold for a couple of quid, all in. Just while I'm getting the FIFA game out, I'll tell you why I'm skeptical of that particular sale. It's only been online for two days, the uh, the boots, and they messaged asking whether they can collect, which I just said no, to be honest. So, the boots, why am I skeptical? Been online for two days, if that, and they're only £20 plus shipping, which isn't a huge amount. And then someone asked if they could collect. I said, no, I don't offer collection, sorry. So then they said, if would I do 15 pound or 20 pound, including the postage? I said, no, they've only been online for two days. I can't accept that. So, or I don't want to accept that just yet. And then they paid straight away. And they're based like nowhere, nowhere near where I am. You've seen the video. They're in good nick. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And I've got to grab something from the, from the office as well. It's a reverse Charizard from one of the sets for £10 plus shipping. I can't be asked to show you, but it's it's a Charizard card, not like the million pound one. So you may have noticed, at least I hope you have from the background, I'm back in my van. I've got my van back. And I'm also in Marlow, which means I'm going to go charity shopping. I've got five minutes, going to run in, have a look, probably not buy anything because everything seems to be really bloody expensive.
too crap. years old. So the weather's taken a bit of a turn for the worst. Uh, I can tell from my dripping wet face. Right, so we've got loads of Transformers bits just then. But I want to check the date of the toys in here for the Pokemon card. Which is why I want to open that one up. And to be fair, the rest of the Transformers, if you know what you're looking for, you know what they are. But I don't know what I'm looking for, so. So we've got a pair of a Hotel Transylvania glasses. The amazing world of Gumball, dude. That's what I wanted to see. That's what I wanted to see. Cause that, I'm sure that's a 2018. I knew it was a couple of years old. Oh, I don't know what card this is gonna be. So this is gonna be interesting. For me, not for anyone else. Oh, I wonder what it could be. Let's turn it around so you'll see it before me. Or I'll see it. It's the horsey from 2018. I'll, I'll take it. A pound for like the whole bag. I'll just do the rest of, I don't know, a job lot of crappy Happy Meal toys. Or a crappy meal. Just the one item going out today. It is Gary from SpongeBob SquarePants, 6 99 plus shipping. Oh, we've got a sale. In B5, there should be an Iron Man. There is an Iron Man. Sold for £4.74 plus shipping. Generally speaking, you buy these for about a pound or so at car boots, nowhere else. So we're back in a regular and there is a grommet mug. 2005, probably worth it. I think I'll take that one. Just stick that down there rather than carry it around if that's okay. Yeah, fine. Lovely, thank you.
So what did I buy today? Not a lot because I'm trying to cut down on my spending because I spend far too much money on crap and I don't list enough. But we've got a fairy swordfish mark one slash three one pound fifty. We've got a Sopwith F1 camel paid one pound fifty. We've got the find of the day, which is a Ralph the Wren double RL pay ten pound probably retailed at like seven eight hundred pounds it's in very good condition it looks like it's barely been worn to be honest with you should be getting three figures for that very very comfortably then we've got some little trikes little tykes even so we've got a bus that was three pounds i did check this one which is why i went back and picked up the others uh so this i paid four pound I think without the men, it's about 20 quid. So with, with the, the men and the figures, we should be all right. Then we've got this little dumper truck, three pounds, lovely jubbly. And then we've got this Los Lobos uh, Fruit of the Loom. But it is that kind of Fruit of the Loom. So yeah, going to throw that in a death pile and hopefully list of toys because that's far easier. It's Friday, it's after work, and I've got a bag of stuff that's already drafted. It just needs to be skewed, and then it can go live. Nothing too exciting, I'm afraid. And there we go. Uh, every, there's like one transformer in, in it, all, each tray. i have try not to over complicate it so that when I can write it out and say like, transformer in B3, I know that it's that one. It's not gonna be choosing one of the transformers in this tray. So there we go, all done. I might go and grab a couple of bits from the loft just to make it a little bit easier when the weekend ends because um, the weather's crap. On the DS, brand new and sealed, sold for $7.99, including free delivery, Sherlock Holmes DS. Back to stuff without a SKU system, which makes life far more difficult than it needs to be. Barber, quarter zip, lovely jumper thing, 50 pounds plus signed for shipping. Yeah, I had to um, to find the little zippy thing in there. But it is the right one because I know that I don't have lots of barber stuff. So yes, sauteed. And I think when the wife came home, she strongly suggested that she wants to have a takeaway. Chance are it's going to be a ruby. Can't beat a booner.